This video will be about the most requested topic and that is how to aim better. Underneath every video I always see at least 4 comments of people saying that their aim is bad and how to aim better. So in this video I will explain to you the basics of aiming. In the description down below you can find timestamps. This way you can skip to a part of the video that is the most useful for you. Let's start this video with the basics. You first need to find the right sensitivity. Sadly there's not one right sensitivity. Everyone is different so everyone uses something else. However, most people say that if you can do a perfect 180, your sensitivity is about right. I personally like to play with a little bit higher sensitivity than that. This is mainly because I main jet and when you main jet you are often very high in the sky so you have to make some crazy flicks with strange angles and that is why I like to play with a little bit higher sensitivity. You can also just put on the practice thing and look if you overshoot or undershoot the enemies. This way you will know if your sensitivity is too high or too low. Now let's go over the movement and the gun basics very quickly. You cannot run and gun. When you are jumping you will also be very inaccurate. If you don't use any spray control with the Vandal or the Phantom it will go straight up and it will go to the left and the right. This means that if you want to control your spray you have to aim down and then to the left and the right and then you can control your spray easy peasy. You will be more accurate when you crouch, however this takes time so I prefer to not do it. Only if the enemy is far away and you mess up your spray. Your pistol is a little bit more accurate if you run a gun but don't do it. For the CSGO players the marshal is not a scout so you cannot jump and shoot. And close range Bucky you have to use the left click option, the right click option does nothing, however for long range you have to use the right click option, because the left click option hits almost nothing then. Ok now let's talk about one topic everyone asks for and that is counter strafing. I talked about this briefly in the last video but some people still wanted a little bit more information about it, so I will explain this while showing my keyboard. If you are strafing to the left or the right, you stop and you shoot, your first bullet will always be inaccurate. You see this in this clip, I hold my D button, then I stop and try to spray. Every time I did it, one bullet, and that's the first bullet, is not at the place where my crosshair was standing. So how do we fix this? Well it's very easy. When you strafe to the right, you have to press on A for a split second, like you see in this clip. And of course, if you walk to the left, you have to press on D for a split second. It has to be the opposite side. And when you do that, your first bullet will be accurate. If you want to practice this, you can just hop into a custom game and do this a lot. After that, you can hop into a deathmatch and the world deathmatch game focus on this topic only. Eventually, it will be in habit. In this clip, you see a good example why counter strafing is very important. If I didn't counter strafe over here, I would probably not get this kill. <laughs> One tap. Because of that I got the kill with my first bullet, so easy peasy. And the last thing about counter strafing, if you walk for whatever reason diagonal, you have to press the other two buttons diagonal back, like you see in this clip. So now about practicing, how do you train your aim? Well the most obvious way to train your aim is in deathmatch. In my opinion deathmatch is the best way to train your aim because you not only train your aim, but you also train the angles you are playing with. Because you play on the maps where you are gonna play the competitive games on. When you are playing the deathmatch games, always try to aim where the head of the enemies could be. And also pre-aim on the places where the enemies head could be. I see a lot of people looking way much to the ground and don't do that, always aim at the head, head level. If you think that matches are boring, you can also try out aim labs or Kovacs. In my opinion, this is very boring, so I never do it. Like you see in the background, I'm pretty bad at this. This is actually the first time I did it. But if you want to see results very quick, then this is the way to go. Just make sure that your sensitivity is exactly the same as on Valorant. For those people who are wondering how I trained my aim, well, I trained my aim in CSGO. I think CSGO was the most fun way to train your aims because you had cool mini games like this one. I played this a lot back in the day. As you can see, and now I'm very bad at it, but back in the day I trained my aim always every day like this. Ok, the last thing I want to mention are the different aim techniques. You can aim with your wrist or with your arm. Usually when you play with a higher sensitivity you aim with your wrist and when you use a low sensitivity you aim with your arm. For those who are wondering what I'm using, I aim with my wrist with 800 dpi and 0 0.6 sensitivity. Ok, to end this video I want to give you a few tips and tricks. Your core share doesn't really matter, just play what's right for you. Just keep in mind, don't make it too big. If you want to get better aim, you have to do your warm up. Always do your warm up. Warm up is very important. Do your warm up. If you are training your aim, don't only use the Phantom or the Vandal, but also use a pistol or maybe a Spectre or a Stinger. If you don't feel confident and you think your aim is bad because of that, try to play a little bit that match till you feel confident again. Also, if this is in the middle of the game, try a shotgun, easy peasy, you don't have to aim with that. And the last thing is the most important tip. You can skip the whole video if you still think, yo my aim is still bad, there's only one thing, one thing you have to do. 
and that is play more. Just play more, your aim will go over time. You cannot be scream in one day, you know. You need to take time. It took me 2000 CSGO hours to get Global Allied, you know. So take your time. Don't think you have to be good in one go. Just take your time and you will be like scream in no time. Thank you so much for watching and I see you in the next video. Peace.